Okay, so I just got this package just now with these two, well, I'm not going to tell you until I open it, but let's just say I sniped them at the last possible second, and I was thrilled to have won them. So I'll show you right now. Hold on. I can't wait to get this. So, okay, I got the box open. Let's see what's in there. Hold on. So this is the one item I've opened, and the other one is going to be opened up for you guys in one second. So what do I have here? This is such an old, old teddy bear. It's about circa 1906, I'd say, to 1908. And it's made out of mohair, and it's an American bear. So it's an early American bear with a very long snout and a hump, as you can see here. Isn't he, oh my God, amazing, absolutely amazing. Look at that. He has uh, replaced paw pads, which is to be expected on something so old. But he's fully jointed, and look at that snout. That snout is so long. Oh my goodness, I waited for this package for so long because I was excited. I, my adrenaline went up at the last few seconds of the auction, and when I won him and his, uh, his cohort, I was just so, so, like, thrilled, absolutely thrilled. So, I mean, he's big, as you can see. I'm trying to um, see if he has a growler, like those, one of those tilt growlers, but I don't hear it. But he is just so amazing. Look at that. This is what an early, early American teddy bear looks like. And now you know. So let me go get his buddy, and I'll show you uh, what his buddy looks like. His buddy is very strange looking. So hang on one second. I'm pulling his buddy out of the box right now, and he has clothes on. And I hate bears with clothes. So let me just take at least one article of clothing off, and I'll show you. So this is another early American teddy bear covered in packing peanuts and uh, hold on one second while I take him uh, to show you in better lighting. So apparently this teddy bear was made to be a girl. So it's not a guy and I don't like teddy bears that are dressed but it appears that somebody really went through a lot of trouble to make this adorable outfit for this early American teddy bear. And they have frowny faces as you can see here. You see like the up, um, actually it's an upside down Y but it's like really frowny. And this one has like little, little glass eyes and an enormous head. And as you can see, I'm trying to pull my arm away from here and show you the whole entire bear. It's very hard to do so because I'm filming with the other hand. And you can see how cool this bear is. And uh, it's fully jointed. And this is what American ingenuity of the early, 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 like 1900, 1906 or 8. Uh, look like. So this is what an early American teddy bear looks like. And you get to see it firsthand. Isn't that pretty, pretty cool? Look at the uh, nose stitching. And it looks like it's about to cry, this teddy bear. There's the arms. And it has its original paw pads. And I'm going to take the clothes off because I hate bears wearing clothes. They don't look like bears. <laughs> so uh, once again, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video showing you uh, me sniping these at the last possible second. I did lose the third one because my Wi-Fi petered out. So uh, check out that uh, unedited version because I don't know how to edit it properly. So it's going to be a little bumpy. But you can see me uh, sniping and winning. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. And when you are bidding and trying to throw in a last second snipe on eBay and a seller is selling more than one item that's ending around the same time you can open up multiple screens and uh, I use Google and I use Google Chrome and so you can have three screens uh, put your top the top amount of bid that you're willing to pay and well hopefully you'll win it for that price and put your top uh, amount that you're willing to go up to and then hit the screen and then just before it says confirm so at the last possible second, as the clock is ticking down, you can hit the confirm button and put your bids in so you don't miss out and you don't, uh, and it doesn't make it where you can only bid on one auction that's ending around the same time. So now you can bid on all three. So I hope this little tip helped you and wish me luck because if I win it for $9.95, I'll be jumping up and down. So uh, thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up and a like if you can. I'm going to show you how I do a last second snipe. Now I wait till five seconds. I put the top amount that I'm willing to spend and I wait for that five second mark and then I hit confirm and oh please if I can win it for that cheap oh god that would be awesome but I highly doubt it. I think people found this. Okay we're getting close. 
Do I win? Do I lose? Let's hope I win. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Let's see. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? I won. What did I win at? Yay, $22. Oh my God, that thing's worth over $150 to $200. All right, we got one more left and then we got another one left. Wish me luck. Okay, so the same seller has three awesome listings. I just won one by sniping. He has another one coming up in six minutes and I'm going to wait. I'm going to snipe at the last possible second. So I'm going to try to be the winner so that somebody else doesn't have a chance to counteract my bid. So uh, I'm going to wait till five seconds to pull the trigger. Let's see, did I just win? What happened? You saw I bid on it, right? That is so weird. All right, well, I'm going to have to go for this one now. So I'm putting in a last second snipe on this rare antique teddy bear. So far, 11 people have seen it. Let's see if I can snipe at the last second and win it, not giving somebody else a chance to bite back. Now, I don't have a high budget, you know, a lot of money to spend. So this is what I do. I try to snipe. That's the most amount I'm willing to pay. This thing's worth $300. So let's see. Come on. So I'm going to go in, I think it's six seconds. And that probably won't give anybody a chance to bite back. And I, when I say bite back, it doesn't give them a chance to fight me. Come on, 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 come on. Yes. So I just won something for $300 for 66 bucks just by sniping. So I didn't give anybody a chance to fight me back. I didn't show my hand. So I am so excited. I won the other thing for $22. It's worth $150 to $200. So this is how you can uh, win like valuable things on a low budget. I opened up several windows with Google Chrome and I and the seller was selling things that were ending around the same time. So I uh, went in there and I did my sniping and I won two out of three. So I'm so excited. Thanks for watching.